the U.S. has offered to suspend steel tariffs on imports from Japan, in a deal that will infuriate Boris Johnson. Washington yesterday offered to suspend the tariffs first implemented by Donald Trump. An agreed quota of steel and aluminium would be allowed to enter the U.S. duty-free each year. The deal proposed to Japan reflects a similar deal agreed with the EU in October. Brussels and the U.S. agreed the 25% tariffs on steel and 10% tariffs on aluminium would only be activated after quotas have been met. While the U.S. has offered a truce with both the EU and Japan, no such deal has been given to the U.K. The measures were imposed on Britain while it was still a part of the EU trade bloc. The deal proposed to Japan reflects a similar deal agreed with the EU in October. Brussels and the US agreed the 25% tariffs on steel and 10% tariffs on aluminium would only be activated after quotas have been met. While the US has offered a truce with both the EU and Japan, no such deal has been given to the UK. The measures were imposed on Britain while it was still a part of the EU trade bloc. Mr Biden has repeatedly warned the Prime Minister not to do anything which risks undermining the Good Friday Agreement. While Britain argues the peace process is being undermined by the protocol, the US has sided with the EU in claiming it is the only way to ensure the Good Friday Agreement is upheld. Lord Frost has threatened to suspend aspects of the protocol if Brussels does not renegotiate the deal. A spokesperson for the Department for International Trade confirmed the US stance by responding, We do not see any connection with this particular issue in the Northern Ireland Protocol and it will in no way affect the UK's approach. That is because significant changes are needed to the protocol in order to protect the Belfast's Good Friday Agreement and Northern Ireland's place in the UK internal market. Last month Garrett Stace, Director General of industry body UK Steel, warned the US's favouritism of other countries would badly impact Britain. He said, on 1 January, steelmakers in the EU will gain a significant price advantage over their UK counterparts. Already, Customers in the United States will be factoring in January 2022 prices to their plans for the next year, which of course risks the UK sector losing market share in the US, to EU exporters.